You're quite a strange one, aren't you? Despite that tough exterior, you're all soft on the inside. What could be more soothing to the soul than beautiful scenery? Perhaps you would like to join me sometime. The two of us? Uh, no thanks. I think I'll pass. Very well then. Suit yourself. I hate the dark. That's Lord Ding Feng. I wouldn't like to get on his wrong side. Hey there, Ding Feng. Don't you go letting our man Gan Ning down. You know, Ding Feng's something of a poet. I hope he doesn't start reading us any. I don't think I could keep a straight face. Lord Lu Dai is exactly the same age as Liu Bei, yet he's just getting started as a leader. I don't think Lord Zhou Yu likes Zhuge Liang much. I can't say I blame him. Lord Zhou Yu is so upstanding and righteous, and Zhuge Liang just seems devious and nasty. I fight on behalf of Lord Sun Quan. Lord Zhou Tai is like our Lord's shadow. You never notice him, but he's always there. He's so dark and mysterious. I wish I could be more like him. Everyone says I should be my own man, but I'm hardly going to inspire future generations, am I? What is Liu Bei's army doing? Those parasites. Poor Lord Zhou Yu. His worries just keep on mounting. Our lady is prettier than ever. They say love does that to a woman. I wonder. So Liu Bei is here as well. It would be nice to be able to see him again. Cao Ren is a man of honor and a mighty warrior. He will be hard to break. The enemy general Cao Ren is renowned for his defensive abilities. It will not be easy to break through his guard. First, we must take out the surrounding bases and then we can concentrate on the castle. Do not let down your guard. We must be wary of Cao Cao and Liu Bei as well. All right! Finally, I get to see some action! The enemy defensive. As our sound, we will have to break them down base by base. But a temporary setback. You've got no chance against me. We need to protect this area at all costs. This land is blessed with beautiful nature. The babbling of the brook cleanses my very soul. Leave lines like that to Joe Yu, will you? You sound like a damn fool when you say that stuff. I shall return! Remember that! 
for yours is the first head I shall see. You've got no chance against me. Everybody wait here for now. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. You're not getting away! I have been a fool. I misread the situation badly. chance against me. I must retreat. This is not the end. Hey, Joe Yu, how badly are you hurt? Ha, that was just a trick to lure the enemy in. I'm fine. Well, if you say so. Everybody attack on my command. Taking out the enemy camp will decide this battle. enemy believes that Lord Zhou Yu is injured. They're moving forward. Hey, you might have let me in on the secret first. So, we're drawing the enemy out then, huh? Like a bank of dark clouds threatening to burst, Liu Bei's silence is unnerving. I don't care what he's up to. We just have to get in there and take Nanjun. Liu Bei's forces helped us at Tier B. They'll help us again. Begin making defensive preparations. We will need them soon. Halt! Don't think you can escape from me. To draw the enemy out further, the success of this plan rests upon us. A true warrior would never run from an opponent. Get a hold of yourself. The time is now. This is our chance to finish off the enemy for good! I was not expecting a trap here! I'm sick of waiting around! Yes!
I praise your skill, but you've gone far enough. I'm sick of waiting around! You think you can outsmart me? Don't make me laugh. I guess I need to pick up the pace. <laughs> My lord, Xiang Yang has fallen to Guan Yu. What? <clears throat> Zhuge Liang. He's always one step ahead. <clears throat> you told us all it was a lie that you were injured. I... I thought I could hold out until we had Xiang Yang. Hey, pull yourself together! Despite much hardship, Zhou Yu managed to seize Nanjuin and obtain Xiang Yang, which was so vital to his strategy. And soon after that, Jing cities of Wuling, Changsha, Lingling, and Guiyang also fell. When Zhou Yu fell injured, and his ranks fell into confusion, Liu Bei struck a crippling blow and seized all that Wu had worked so hard to earn. Meanwhile, Cao Cao had recovered from his defeat and again posed a threat. With Cao Cao before them and Liu Bei behind them, his health deteriorating, Zhou Yu put everything he had left into one last strategy. A strategy that would save the kingdom that his fallen friend and Sun Quan had worked so hard to build. It would be Zhou Yu's final strategy, the marriage of Sun Shangxiang to Liu Bei. And so Liu Bei was made a member of the Sun family through marriage. Afterwards, Liu Bei was invited to Yi by Liu Zhang, who was fearful of Cao Cao's strength. Beseeched by the people of Yi, Liu Bei answered their pleas and attacked Liu Zhang, taking his land for himself. Cao Cao of Wei, Sun Quan of Wu, and now Liu Bei of Shu. The land was divided into three. Before long, Cao Cao would occupy Han Zhang, in order to check Xu's growing power. Threatened by Cao Cao's move, the fledgling kingdom of Xu turned to Wu for assistance. Sun Quan was determined to strike Cao Cao from behind and instructed Gan Ning and his men to march on Hefei. Unfortunately, Wu no longer had the brilliance of Zhou Yu to guide them. However, in this battle, a new bond of allegiance would be formed. I reckon this next battle will be a real walk in the park. Oh, man. You sure can talk a good game. Huh? 
never stop. With Lord Zhou Yu gone, we must be more united than ever to support our Lord. Yeah, but, but he was... Hey, how about a contest? Who begs the most enemies? And the loser has to lead the army. Huh, sounds lame. But, if it'll get you to shut up for a while... Our vanguard has the undermanned enemy on the run. Our job is to assist. We'll leave the center to Ling Tong. You and I will head west. Whoa. 